Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to display PDF on Wix. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Wix, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. To display a PDF on your Wix website, you have uh, several options depending on how you like to present it. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to go to the website editor and you might want to click on the left side panel of your dashboard. Click on the site and mobile app. Depending on how you set up your Wix, click on website and click on the link of your site. Now, once you are inside the website editor, all I have to do is go to the left side panel and there's going to be something that says add elements. And from here, we're going to select a button or text. But for now, maybe um, let's go for the button. Now for the button, you can use a theme buttons, text and icons, buttons, right? Like icon buttons, if you wanted, or an image buttons if you want, or the better is going to be the document buttons that shows PDF. All right. And from here, all I have to do is upload the PDF file. But the idea is that I am working with a uh, sample PDF on my other platform, which is Canva. I'm going to click on upload and I'm going to upload this specific file because right now it's on PNG. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is click on the share button here and download that using um, PDF, you see, which is best for printing. You might want to click on these options right here, flatted PDF and all that, and click on download. Now, once it's downloaded, I'm going to click on upload media. And of course, you can put in the uh, file from Google Drive, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Dropbox, Google Photos, Vimeo, Flickr, DeviantArt, Dribble, and link URL. Now we're going to do all this, but for now we're going to upload the file from my computer. After that, wait for it for the file to load. Okay. And all you have to do is click on add to page. You see that? This is going to be the uh, PDF file. I'm going to put it around here and you see, you can also have more options for the setting. You can change if you wanted. You can show the title if you want. All right. You see that? You also have the option for the SEO status, which is going to be for advanced um, technique or uh, tutorial. I'm going to click on it and there's going to be a... You see this design? If you wanted to change the uh, document, you can do so as well, all right? But of course, we're sticking to the PDF. And here, there's going to be an animation. If you wanted, maybe we're going to put in the float or fold. Okay. Once you're happy with that, that's how you basically upload a PDF file. Now, another option is basically click on the uh, add elements. And there's going to be a section that says embed code. You can embed HTML or embed a site depending on what you want it. But for now, we're going to click on the embed HTML. Now, you need the code here for you to be able to display the PDF. How can we do that? Now, I'm switching over to the Canva again. Here on my Canva platform, I'm going to click on the share button again. And there's going to be an option that says embed. Okay. What will happen is you have this option for the HTML embed code. I'm going to copy this for now. And I'm switching over again to the Wix website editor. Here, I'm going to click on HTML code. Paste it in. Click on update. I'm going to put in the title.
which is going to be that. And if you exit this one, what will happen is, you see, click on update. And that's going to be the image or the PDF. Okay, that's two ways. Now, another option is going to be add an element again. This time, we're going to use the text, right? On the text, for example, you can put in a theme text, paragraph, collapsible text, text marquee. So um, let's use the text mask. For example, this one. I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit um smaller for you so you guys can see it. I'm gonna hover this on the bottom a little bit. Now, if you click on the change text, there's gonna be an option for the link. All right. So you have um options here. For example page section top bottom but of course you can put in the web address all right or the document now the doc are linking to what you can choose a file again from what we have earlier so these are going to be your options to add a page or add a pdf to your wix website if you click on done you see that's going to be uh, the option for you to upload another pdf file here or displaying a pdf on your wix site now we can do that again by adding an element this time around i want you to click on the button right here and click on the download option now on the download option there's going to be a, a option for the link this time around we're going to put in the web address and i'm going to switch over to the canva because in Canva, if I click on share, all right, I'm going to click on the see all option. You see, there's going to be an option for the Google Drive. I'm going to click on it. And then I just have to click on connect Google. And from here, just authorize and click on continue. And select all to give access and permissions to Canva. Now again here. Of course, we're using the PDF standard. Click on save. Now it's preparing your design. After that, click the view in Google Drive. And from here, all you have to do is copy this. There's going to be an option uh, to share a copy link and switch over to your Wix editor. And then here, click on the link. Web address, and that's going to be that. Click on and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one